The purpose of this brief training program is to familiarize those who have not used PZP before or for review by those who have been trained and have not yet been able to put that training into practice. Much of what is covered in this training program has already been covered in the vaccine inserts, but this will provide some visual directions as well. All mammalian eggs are surrounded by a non-cellular membrane known as the zona pellucida. This is seen here as the outermost circle surrounding the egg. The zona pellucida is made up of several glycoproteins, that is, proteins with carbohydrates attached. One of these carbohydrates, ZP3-beta, plays a major role as the receptor for proteins on the sperm surface. Think of the zona sperm receptor as a molecular keyhole. Here we see sperm attaching to the sperm receptor sites, the ZP3 beta keyholes, by means of proteins on their own surface. Think of these sperm proteins as molecular keys, and this results in successful fertilization. When the porcine zona proteins, the PZP vaccine, are injected into any female mammals outside the pig family, they cause the production of antibodies. In many species, these antibodies seek out and attach to the female's own sperm receptors, causing them to change shape by means of a process known as steric hindrance. Now, when the sperm tries to attach to the ovum, its surface proteins, which you have been asked to think of as molecular keys, no longer fit into the ovum sperm receptors, which you have been asked to think of as molecular keyholes. And fertilization is blocked. No endocrine events are altered. As soon as you receive it, check the contents of the package and count the vials and make sure you received what you ordered. PZP vials are to be immediately stored in a freezer. Adjuvant is to be stored in a refrigerator. For field use, the vaccine vials should be kept in a cooler with adequate ice packs along with the adjuvant. At the end of the day, unused vaccine should be returned to a freezer and adjuvant to a refrigerator. If the vaccine has thawed during the day, just refreeze it at the end of the day. Be careful to keep a careful inventory of vaccine used, lost, and stored. The necessary equipment includes a pair of 5cc glass syringes. The specifications for these syringes, which we supply, are found in the vaccine insert. There is also a plastic lure lock connector with which the two syringes can be connected. Finally, you will need a 1.5 inch 18 gauge needle. And if you are loading darts after mixing, a 2 inch 18 gauge needle. Depending on whether you are going to deliver the vaccine by hand injection or by dart, you will also need a 3cc plastic syringe with lure lock or a 1cc barbless new dart. The needle length on the new dart will depend on what species you intend to treat. Normally we use a 1.5 inch needle for horses. To begin, draw up 0.5 cc of adjuvant. If this is to be a primer inoculation, use Freund's modified adjuvant, which is stored refrigerated and always shaken before use. Attach the 1.5 inch needle to one of the glass syringes. When you draw the adjuvant up, be sure to use the one-handed method to avoid sticking yourself. Place the vial on a hard flat surface Push the needle down into the vial. Now you can pick it up, invert it, and draw up the adjuvant. Always draw the adjuvant up first. After removing the needle from the adjuvant vial, be careful not to lose the adjuvant due to an uncontrolled sliding plunger on the syringe. Now take the vial of thawed vaccine, tap it on a hard surface to prevent any vaccine from clinging in the cap. Open the vial and carefully draw out the vaccine into the syringe with the adjuvant in it. 
Get every last drop by making sure the bevel on the needle is flat with the tapered bottom of the vial. Now carefully remove the needle and connect the two syringes by means of the plastic lure lock connector. After making sure they are firmly attached, give the two syringes 100 strokes, pushing the emulsion back and forth into the two syringes. You want to achieve a nice, thick, milky white emulsion. This is very important. If you were preparing a booster inoculation, you would use instead Freund's incomplete adjuvant. If you are loading a hand syringe, attach the glass syringe with the emulsion in it to a plastic disposable syringe by means of the plastic lure lock connector and push the vaccine emulsion into the plastic syringe. Disconnect the glass syringe and place a sterile 1.5 inch 18 gauge needle on the plastic syringe. Store this plastic syringe in a cold pack for up to one to three hours, but do not freeze it. If you are loading a dart, attach the two inch 18 gauge needle to the glass syringe with the emulsion in it. Now holding the dart needle up, insert the 18 gauge needle on the glass syringe into the dart needle, making sure the 18 gauge needle tip is well inside the dart body. Now inject the emulsion into the dart. If the dart will not be used for an hour or more, store it on a cold pack, but do not freeze it. At the end of each day, all glass syringes and needles should be cleaned. All this equipment should be rinsed in hot water, then in soapy water, and then in hot water again. It helps if you connect the glass syringes and push soapy water back and forth just as you did when mixing, but this alone will not remove all the oil residue from the adjuvant. A final rinse of 70% ethanol or isopropyl alcohol will remove the remaining residue. The vaccine should never be given to horses or any large ungulates in any location except the hip or rump. We hope this video has been useful to you and helps you to use the PZP vaccine properly.